The word of the Lord came to me. Son of man, speak to your people and say to them, If I bring the sword upon a land, and the people of the land take a man from among them, and make him their watchman, and if he sees the sword coming upon the land, and blows the trumpet, and warns the people, then if anyone who hears the sound of the trumpet does not take warning, and the sword comes and takes him away, his blood shall be upon his own head. He heard the sound of the trumpet, and did not take warning, his blood shall be upon himself. But if he had taken warning, he would have saved his life. But if the watchman sees the sword coming, and does not blow the trumpet, so that the people are not warned, and the sword comes, and takes any one of them, that man is taken away in his iniquity, but his blood I will require at the watchman's hand. So you, son of man, I have made a watchman for the house of Israel. Whenever you hear a word from my mouth, you shall give them warning from me. If I say to the wicked, O wicked man, you shall surely die, and you do not speak to warn the wicked to turn from his way, that wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood I will require at your hand. But if you warn the wicked to turn from his way, and he does not turn from his way, he shall die in his iniquity, but you will have saved your life. And you, son of man, say to the house of Israel, Thus have you said, Our transgressions and our sins are upon us, and we waste away because of them. How then can we live? Say to them, As I live, says the Lord God, I have no pleasure in the death of the wicked, but that the wicked turn from his way and live. Turn back, turn back from your evil ways, for why will you die, O house of Israel? And you, son of man, say to your people, The righteousness of the righteous shall not deliver him when he transgresses. And as for the wickedness of the wicked, he shall not fall by it when he turns from his wickedness, and the righteous shall not be able to live by his righteousness when he sins. Though I say to the righteous that he shall surely live, Yet if he trusts in his righteousness and commits iniquity, none of his righteous deeds shall be remembered. But in the iniquity that he has committed, he shall die. Again, though I say to the wicked, you shall surely die. Yet if he turns from his sin and does what is lawful and right, if the wicked restores the pledge, gives back what he has taken by robbery, and walks in the statutes of life, committing no iniquity, he shall surely live, he shall not die. None of the sins that he has committed shall be remembered against him. He has done what is lawful and right, he shall surely live. Yet your people say, The way of the Lord is not just, when it is their own way that is not just. When the righteous turns from his righteousness and commits iniquity, he shall die for it. And when the wicked turns from his wickedness and does what is lawful and right, he shall live by it. Yet you say, The way of the Lord is not just. O house of Israel, I will judge each of you according to his ways. In the twelfth year of our exile, in the tenth month, on the fifth day of the month, a man who escaped from Jerusalem came to me and said, The city has fallen. Now the hand of the Lord has been upon me the evening before the fugitive came, and he had opened my mouth by the time the man came to me in the morning. So my mouth was opened, and I was no longer mute. The word of the Lord came to me. Son of man, the inhabitants of these waste places in the land of Israel keep saying, Abraham was only one man, yet he got possession of the land. But we are many. The land is surely given to us to possess. Therefore say to them, Thus says the Lord God, You eat flesh with the blood, and lift up your eyes to your idols and shed blood. Shall you then possess the land? You resort to the sword. You commit abominations, and each of you defiles his neighbor's wife. Shall you then possess the land? Say this to them. Thus says the Lord God, As I live, surely those who are in the waste places shall fall by the sword, and him that is in the open field I will give to the beast to be devoured. And those who are in strongholds and in caves shall die by pestilence. And I will make the land a desolation and a waste, and her proud might shall come to an end. And the mountains of Israel shall be so desolate that none will pass through. Then they will know that I am the Lord, 
when I have made the land a desolation and a waste because of all their abominations which, which they have committed. As for you, son of man, your people who talk together about you by the walls and at the doors of the houses, say to one another, each to his brother, come and hear what the word is that comes forth from the Lord. And they come to you as people come, and they sit before you as my people, and they hear what you say, but they will not do it. For with their lips they show much love, but their heart is set on their gain. And behold, you are to them like one who sings love songs with a beautiful voice and plays well on an instrument. For they hear what you say, but they will not do it. When this comes, and come it will, then they will know that a prophet has been among them. The word of the Lord came to me. Son of man, prophecy against the shepherds of Israel. Prophecy and say to them, even to the shepherds, thus says the Lord God, Ho, shepherds of Israel, who have been feeding yourselves. Should not shepherds feed the sheep? You eat the fat, you clothe yourselves with the wool, you slaughter the fatlings, but you do not feed the sheep. The weak you have not strengthened, the sick you have not healed, the crippled you have not bound up, the strayed you have not brought back, the lost you have not sought, and with force and harshness you have ruled them. So they were scattered because there was no shepherd, and they became food for all the wild beasts. My sheep were scattered, they wandered over all the mountains and on every high hill. My sheep were scattered over all the face of the earth, with none to search or seek for them. Therefore, you shepherds, hear the word of the Lord, as I live, says the Lord God, because my sheep have become a prey, and my sheep have become food for all the wild beasts, since there was no shepherd, and because my shepherds have not searched for my sheep, but the shepherds have fed themselves and have not fed my sheep. Therefore, you shepherds, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God, Behold, I am against the shepherds, and I will require my sheep at their hand, and put a stop to their feeding the sheep. No longer shall the shepherds feed themselves. I will rescue my sheep from their mouths, that they may not be food for them. For thus says the Lord God, Behold, I, I myself, will search for my sheep, and will seek them out, as a shepherd seeks out his flock when some of his sheep have been scattered abroad, so will I seek out my sheep. I will rescue them from all places where they have been scattered on a day of clouds and thick darkness, and I will bring them out from the peoples, and gather them from the countries, and will bring them into their own land, and I will feed them on the mountains of Israel, by the fountains, and in all the inhabited places of the country. I will feed them with good pasture, and upon the mountain heights of Israel shall be their pasture. There they shall lie down in good grazing land, and on fat pasture they shall feed on the mountains of Israel. I myself will be the shepherd of my sheep, and I will make them lie down, says the Lord God. I will seek the lost, and I will bring back the strayed, and I will bind up the crippled, and I will strengthen the weak, and the fat and the strong I will watch over. I will feed them in justice. As for you, my flock, thus says the Lord God, behold, I judge between sheep and sheep, rams and he goats. Is it not enough for you to feed on the good pasture that you must tread down with your feet the rest of your pasture and to drink of clear water that you must foul the rest with your feet? And must my sheep eat what you have trodden with your feet and drink what you have fouled with your feet? Therefore, thus says the Lord God to them, Behold, I, I myself will judge between the fat sheep and the lean sheep, because you push with side and shoulder, and thrust at all the weak with your horns, till you have scattered them abroad. I will save my flock. They shall no longer be a prey. And I will judge between sheep and sheep, and I will set up over them one shepherd, my servant David, and he shall feed them. He shall feed them and be their shepherd. And I, the Lord, will be their God, and my servant David shall be prince among them. I, the Lord, have spoken. I will make with them a covenant of peace and banish wild beasts from the land, so that they may dwell securely in the wilderness and sleep in the woods. And I will make them and the places round about my hill a blessing. And I will send down the showers in their season. They shall be showers of blessing. 
and the trees of the field shall yield their fruit, and the earth shall yield its in increase, and they shall be secure in their land. And they shall know that I am the Lord, when I break the bars of their yoke, and deliver them from the hand of those who enslave them. They shall be no more a prey to the nations, nor shall the beasts of the land devour them. They shall dwell securely, and none shall make them afraid. And I will provide for them prosperous plantations, so that they shall no more be consumed with hunger in the land, and no longer suffer the reproach of the nations. And they shall know that I, the Lord their God, am with them, and that they, the house of Israel, are my people, says the Lord God. And you are my sheep, the sheep of my pasture, and I am your God, says the Lord God. Question a friend. Perhaps he did not do it, but if he did anything, so that he may do it no more. Question a neighbor. Perhaps he did not say it, but if he said it, so that he may not say it again. Question a friend. For often it is slander, so do not believe everything you hear. A person may make a slip without intending it. Who has never sinned with his tongue? Question your neighbor before you threaten him, and let the law of the Most High take its course. All wisdom is the fear of the Lord, and in all wisdom there is the fulfillment of the law. But the knowledge of wickedness is not wisdom, nor is there a prudence where sinners take counsel. There is a cleverness which is abominable, but there is a fool who merely lacks wisdom. Better is the God-fearing man who lacks intelligence than the highly prudent man who transgresses the law. There is a cleverness which is scrupulous but unjust, and there are people who distort kindness to gain a verdict. There is a rascal bowed down in mourning, but inwardly he is full of deceit. He hides his face and pretends not to hear, but where no one notices, he will forestall you. And if by lack of strength he is prevented from sinning, he will do evil when he finds an opportunity. A man is known by his appearance, and a sensible man is known by his face when you meet him. A man's attire and open mouth laughter, and a man's manner of walking, show what he is. You then, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus, and what you have heard from me before many witnesses and trust to faithful men who will be able to teach others also. Take your share of sufferings as a good soldier of Christ Jesus. No soldier on service gets entangled in civilian pursuits, since his aim is to satisfy the one who enlisted him. An athlete is not crowned unless he competes according to the rules. It is the hard-working farmer who ought to have the first share of the crops. Think over what I say, for the Lord will grant you understanding in everything. Remember Jesus Christ, risen from the dead, descended from David, as preached in my gospel, the gospel for which I am suffering and wearing chains like a criminal. But the word of God is not chained. Therefore, I endure everything for the sake of the elect, that they also may obtain the salvation, which in Christ Jesus goes with eternal glory. The saying is sure. If we have died with him, we shall also live with him. If we endure, we shall also reign with him. If we deny him, he will also deny us. If we are faithless, he will remain faithful, for he cannot deny himself. In Ezekiel and 2 Timothy, we find our spiritual vocation compared to earthly careers, shepherd, soldier, athlete, and farmer. All these professions involve exertion and commitment. They also require patience. A soldier or an athlete must train extensively before even setting foot on the field or in the arena. A shepherd or a farmer must tend his flocks and fields for long hours every day before reaping any reward for the labor. It is this quality of perseverance that St. Paul is highlighting. We should welcome a share of Christ's suffering, and we should endure to the end. Perseverance is also something that has been found wanting in Ezekiel's generation. They are not good shepherds, and they want rewards without any labor. Practicing patience can be difficult in any situation, and in our spiritual lives it can sometimes be the hardest. But even more than earthly farmer or athlete, we know we will reap the rewards of our labor. Can these images help you to resist the culture of instant gratification and to persevere in your spiritual labor?